I grew up, you know, in Lexington, Tennessee. I uh, lived with my parents out on a lake. I was born in, in Kaufman Estates, Illinois, and then I grew up in Carpentersville, which is just a little bit away from that. So my family is, I mean, they're a huge part of my life. My parents are, you know, they're my, they're my rock. Uh, they're where I go to. Uh, my sister, she's one of a kind. She's truly uh, a wonderful person, and um, I don't tell her enough, but she's amazing. Growing up, we were a family that like did everything together. Um, our Saturdays were almost just like our family days. It's like we wake up, it's like, what are we doing today? I met her at, at like a pre-party and we just kind of started chatting up and I was, I was flirting with her and you know just, just being a typical guy. I saw her and then the next day I just like kind of kept thinking about her, a few days went by. I had had a message on my phone and it was from Chris <laughs> and he's like, you know, hope you had fun last night, it was great to meet you, you know, you're a lot of fun. Talk back and forth for a bit and then I think I used some cheesy pickup line to get her, her phone number and uh, she gave it to me, luckily. So when we started dating, it, you know, it was funny. It wasn't like we went on a date, waited two weeks, went on another date. I mean, it was like we went on a date, then the next day it was, you know, what are you doing? So, you know, we didn't really have like a thing. We just kind of, just like I said earlier, we just took on life together. It was also one of the hardest times for me in my life. My uh, grandfather had died right after we started dating. Ended up my uh, family called me and they're like, you know, it's only a couple days, you know, you need to get home and I'm from Chicago. He dropped what he was doing, he drove me back to Murray, I got my stuff and drove me to the train station and this was after less than a month of dating. It was it was hard for both of us but um, he, he was great. <laughs> When we started dating, we both went through some, some tough times. I was really close with my grandfather and it was on like my mom's side and I'm like really close to my family. So I think he kind of knew um, it was important to me and the fact that he stood by me and you know, everything's gonna be okay. It was like, okay, I need someone to do this for the rest of my life. She was just there for me as like my rock and like someone I could, you know, reach out to and you know, talk about life and feelings. I mean, it was, it was really two, one or two months into our relationship. It was that day that I knew he was the one for me. Um, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him and it was a month into our relationship and I was so sure of that then too, so. Chris said I love you first. It was me. We went to float the Buffalo River with all his friends and you know, this is like the first time I'm seeing him in his environment with his people and you know, I was like, okay, this is this is gonna be a great day. We were on the bus riding home, uh, you know, back to, back to my parents' place and I looked at her and I just said, I love you. And uh, she goes, do you know what you just said? And I was like, yeah, and I, and I meant it. He's like, go ahead, ask me. And I said, ask you what? Like, he's like, I know you know I said I love you. And I was like, well, did you mean it? And he said, well, of course. And I was like, well, I love you too. So that was, that was that. <laughs> so we knew kind of earlier, it was like after I think two months. And uh, from that point on, I mean, it was every conversation, you know, we had, it was, you know, I love you, have a good day, or, you know, good luck on your test, I love you. And it, it just, it was so natural. It wasn't a, it just rolled into us being part of our everyday lives. So the proposal was a lot of fun. I actually had a lot of fun planning it and getting it together. My family was coming, it was Labor Day weekend, so I didn't think, you know, I had mentioned, I was like, maybe we could invite my family down to like your parents' house and everyone can meet and it'll be great. You know, we get everyone down and she's all stressed out all day and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, just relax, you know, it'll be fine, it'll be a good day, you know, just try, like get through the day. And so I, I had planned that I was gonna have tiki torches lining a walkway for her. Um, and then like have our family down the walkway as she walks out. I don't think she really got suspicious up until right before she went up to get ready. 
I was like, uh, why don't you go get ready? We'll take some family pictures. And she's like, ah, I don't care. I'll just take them in this. At the lake, I just don't care. So I'm normally like in, you know, shorts and a t-shirt and my hair's in a ponytail. Um, but he knew if like something special was happening, I'd want to look good for it. So I walked down the stairs and um, the way they're downstairs is there's like a big window and normally it's real loud with people. Well, I start walking down the stairs and I'm like, I don't hear anyone. And this is when, you know, I really got overwhelmed by how great our families are because they, everyone just said, okay, what do I need to do? Where do I need to be? Everyone's banging tiki torches into the ground, getting them lit, uh, you know, getting, we had flowers there, but then they're like, you know, you, you stop, we got it. You need to go get ready too <laughs> before she's ready. So I'm, I'm rushing and, and just, I come out and it's perfect. It's exactly like I envisioned. And I mean, they just, they put it together for me and it was amazing. We opened the door and here's Chris right by the lake, the sun is setting, so it's perfect sunset, perfect, just everything. She starts crying right away, and she, she realizes it. And I, I start bawling too, I'm almost gonna start crying right now. Uh, so I have like this big long speech prepared for her when she gets there, but I, all I could say was, will you marry me? I, I was so choked up, I couldn't hardly say anything. And he's on one knee, and I lost it, <laughs> and said yes to marry my best friend, so. Um, it was a perfect day. <laughs> Chris supports me through every aspect of my life. When I was going through school, he's like, you are so dedicated to school. He said, I love you that you, you know, you work so hard for what you love. And um, when I was going through you know, when I graduated, he said, you know, I'm so proud of you. And he was there with me, you know, I'm making lesson plans and he's, you know, doing his accounting and just helping me get through school. Her personality is just infectious. So if I come home from a long day or, you know, maybe something's going on in my life, it's when I'm with her, instantly just everything's good. Um, and that, that feeling's never faded and it's been as strong from the first time I noticed it back when we first met. He really helped me believe in myself that I am going to be a good teacher, I'm, I'm going to do good things in life, and his heart is like really what like gets me through the day. He's got such a big heart, he's always willing to just say, you know, I love you, you're, you're doing great in life. He just lifts me up, he really does. <laughs> I'm a very uh, kind of highly wound, I have really big expectations for a lot of things, and, and she's there just to say, look, it didn't happen today, but it could happen tomorrow or the next day. It's, she keeps me, you know, in the zone that, look, just because whatever you wanted didn't happen now, it can still happen and it will happen. And we'll do whatever it takes to get there. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's not just one thing, it's, it's everything. My favorite characteristic about Alyssa is just her positive outlook on life. You know, she never has a truly bad day. She's, she may have bad things go on, but at the end of the day, she's, she's happy and she just loves life and it's infectious. How loving he is. Um, uh, I joke with him because he's so loving and so caring that it's almost like, like I'm, I'm the disciplinary with the dog and he's just, oh, don't yell at her. She's so sweet. She didn't do anything wrong. And but he's like that with everything, you know, everything that he says has just such positivity behind it. I know he cares about me and sometimes it's like, Oh my gosh, like I can't believe I have someone who loves me this much. You don't think it's possible for someone to, for you to know that someone actually loves you, but like I really do believe he loves me. <laughs> you can't have a bad time when you're around her. She just spreads that joy to you. So the thing that drives me nuts about her, and I, I do like it, but it's, she's super kind of OCD. Like everything has a place and it needs to be in its place. He bites his nails more than anyone I have ever met. <laughs> um, he bites his nails, and I do it sometimes, but he does it way worse than I do. He shakes his leg when we're sitting at church, and I can feel the entire pew shaking. I'm just like, stop shaking your leg. I put a drink on the table, maybe it sits there till the next day, and you know, or maybe I put the remote here, but it, it goes here, because this is the place for the remotes. My shoes go here today, and they'll go in the other corner tomorrow, and the dish can probably stay here. I'm gonna air soak it overnight. That way, the stuff really doesn't come off, <laughs> so. Five years from now, where will we be? Hopefully we'll be in a house. Um, probably getting ready to have our first, first child, start a family. Possibly. 
<laughs> I think is, is the best answer I can give you on that one. He'll be way beyond anyone his age and his career. He is so driven that I know he'll be successful for the rest of his life. Life's gonna be great. She's, uh, she, like I said, she's positive and always just brings that along with her. So can't, can't to see the future, but I know, you know that staple of being happy and loving each other is always gonna be there. And that's, that's all that matters. Just kind of really setting the pace for the rest of our lives. Right now it's kind of hectic, um, wedding planning, moving, you know, trying to get our roots settled. So hopefully by then we'll really be, we'll really be settled and um, we'll start our happy ever after. <laughs> Alyssa, when you walk down that aisle, I'm immediately gonna burst into tears. Uh, I can't, I can hardly hold it together even thinking about it, talking about it. Chris, I just wanna let you know that I love you more than anything in this world. You've made me the person that I wanna be and um, I've dreamt about marrying someone like you my entire life. I promise to always be there for you. I promise to protect you. I promise to be anything you need and always be someone you can rely on and always be there to support you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and um, when we have children, um, they're gonna have the best dad. Millie has the best dad right now. <laughs> You're gonna make it very tough for me to get my vows out. Um, just a true testament to how much I love you and uh, the impact you have on me. I love you. I'm so thankful for you. Um, I don't think you'll ever truly understand how much I love you and how much I appreciate everything you've done for me and will do for our future. <laughs> I love you. 